What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can create a complex arch and then bend it inside a Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so basically what we wanna do is we wanna create kind of a complex like um, series of boards and then we wanna bend them to create kind of an arch shape. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna start by drawing a line. So I'm just gonna type in line and hit the enter key. And I usually wanna make sure that my smart track and my uh, snapping are toggled on down here um, so that this will actually snap to different points and edges. But I'm just gonna start at the origin and I'm just gonna draw a line that's the width of whatever I want my arch to be. So in this case, we're gonna say 20 feet right here. And all I'm doing is I'm just kinda like roughing out the size of this arch. So. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw another line this way right here. And we're going to say our arch is going to be 30 feet long. So I'll draw this at 30 feet. And then I'm going to type in rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle along this surface right here. So basically what that's done is that's just given me some points that I can kind of inference to for creating my shape. And in this case, I want this to be a little bit random. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. I'm just going to start drawing rectangles in this shape. All right, so I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. Whoops. And basically I'm just drawing some random shapes in here. You don't need to get too crazy with this, at least for right now. I mean, you could definitely get more detailed with it depending on the result that you're going for. And so we're just gonna draw some additional rectangles in here like this. And so what we've done is we've just kind of like roughed out a general shape um, for where we want our boards to go. Well, now what I want to do is I want to really quickly extrude all of these edges, right? So what I want to do is I want to start by using a tool called offset multiple. So we're going to type in offset multiple like this. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select all of our edges, right? You see where it says select curves to offset? In this case, we're just using the edges. Those are considered curves. but now what I wanna do is I wanna set my distance. And so in this case, my distance is going to be the width of a board, which in this case we can assume to be about an inch and a half. So we're gonna type in 1.5 inches and hit the enter key. So once we've done that, we can hit the enter key again. Notice how our distance changed, but we can hit the enter key right here and it's gonna ask which side to offset. I'm just gonna click on the inside somewhere. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to offset all of these different edges, right? So these are all now offset um, in the interior direction. And sometimes you might get some additional edges in here. If that's the case, you can just come in here and delete them. So um, some of this gets a little bit funky. Like for example, you've got like two edges that kind of back up to each other. I'm gonna leave that as is. We could definitely come in here and trim some stuff and clean this up, but I'm not really ultra worried about it for this exercise. So the point of this exercise is now we wanna come in here and we wanna extrude all of these um, to 3D. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra piece right here. And then I'm just gonna select the whole thing and what I wanna do is I wanna type in an extrude curve. So extrude CRV and hit the enter key. That's gonna allow me to extrude this to three dimensions. Well, in this case, we wanna set this to whatever the depth of our board framing is going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the board framing in this case is gonna be seven and a half um, or maybe uh, two by eights or our seven and three quarters, I don't remember, um, but we'll go with seven and three quarters. So 7.75 inches right here, seven and a half is probably right. It doesn't matter for what we're doing here. But what that's done is that's extruded all of this into three dimensions, right? So if we were to jump into rendered mode, you can see how this is basically created um, 3D boards that are in here. Well, now what we wanna do is we wanna take these and we wanna bend them, right? So we wanna bend them in order to create an arch. And so the way that we can do that is we can select this whole object and within our transform tools, there's an option in here for bend. And so what bend is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to select a spine and then bend that spine in whatever direction we want. One of the things that might be helpful for you is you might wanna double click here and toggle back into the mode with multiple different views. We'll go ahead and leave this alone for right now. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this object and I basically wanna set my start point of my spine to this point right here. Then I'm gonna find the end point of my spine over here and click again. 
And so now it's gonna ask me for the point to bend through. And that's why these other views are helpful because notice how um, if I select, like if I try to move around on this view, right, it's kind of like bending it on the wrong axis. But if I move my mouse over here, I can bend it along the correct axis. And so one thing we wanna do before we do this is we wanna set our angle. Right? So, because what we want to do is we want to bend this 180 degrees. And right now, if we were to click in here, it's just going to kind of like randomly place this, and we might not get that perfect 180 degree bend. So, the best way for us to do this is to either type the A key or click on this, and it's going to ask for our bend angle. In this case, I'm going to set an option for 180 degrees. So you just type in 180. That's going to set your bend angle to 180 degrees. Well, now what I can do is I can just move my mouse down here until this kind of like inferences to this line. And um, you want to make sure that your preview kind of looks the way that you want it to. But now if you click, what it's going to do is it's going to bend this object. And notice how it bent it 180 degrees. Well, now we can take this arch and we can adjust it using the gumball and bend it so that it's sitting properly on here. Remember, you can toggle the gumball in here by clicking on gumball down below. But now we can take the whole thing, move it up, and align it with our ground, right? So we just move this up like this. And notice how it bent this nicely at 180 degrees. So our edges are completely level like this. So now we've got this nice arch in 3D. All right, so that's kind of an overview of how you might combine these tools together. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of workflow tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.